and I'm gonna fight the asylum demon by coming down on his head and doing like half of damage to him, like taking away half of his health. You lock on by clicking on the right stick, which is probably the most useful thing in the game. That's not even sarcasm either. Like, literally, it is pretty much the most useful thing in the game because dodging is so fucking important because you get hit like twice by anything and you're fucked. Uh, oh, oh god. Like, this is what we're greeted with in the game. This is the first thing. But I think I got it. Yeah, you're dead. Now, you may have almost killed me in the process, but I got you. You're dead. And I got the big pilgrim's key. So we can move on. And we shall. Oh, and I got one humanity. So, let's go on outside. Um... So, here we are in the outside, and seems pretty empty out here, and I think it is, and it's snowy. Ooh, a cutscene. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran. So, now that, uh, now we can actually, well, I was about to say we can get the action going now, but, uh, the action was already going from the start when we were introduced with a fucking asylum demon. But now we're introduced to the main world, though. In Lordran, level up and kindle bo at bonfires. Kindling bonfires will allow you to have more flask refills. Alright, so now that I've made that my save point, what am I going to do? Okay, first of all, when I play Dark Souls, when Josh plays Dark Souls, he is pretty much... Oh yeah, by the way, I think this fire is already, already kindled because of the fact that I got 10 flask refills. But anyway, Josh is an evil motherfucker. Instead of becoming friends and talking with everyone, yeah, no, I, ju I just fucking kill everybody. And that's what I'm going to do to this guy. I'm going to kill him. Yeah, that's right. Come on. Come on. Dumbass, bring it. I like how you're just gonna take it. Fine. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! And, uh, take that, you bitch! That's right, I kill everybody, because Josh is evil. I'm an evil undead black man. Bring it on. Now you can't hit me from there, so I'm just gonna drink out of my flask now. And I'm gonna parry your attack, and attack you back. Now, unfortunately, this is kind of a long process, and I'm probably gonna bore you guys while doing it, so... <laughs> well, thank you. Oh, well, that's cool. So, I think actually there's a multitude of reasons why this game is unforgiving. Not only does like every conceivable thing kill you, but on top of every conceivable thing killing you, um, and killing you really damn easily too, and the back of the case saying prepare to die, so the game developers obviously knew, um, on top of all of that, and on top of not even being able to pause the game legitimately, and, like, okay, not only that, but added to that is the other factor of every time you die, you lose pretty much everything. 
you lose all of your souls, you lose your hum- your humanity if you're using it. Like, it's just fucking horrible. I hate it so much. I hate that factor, but it's what gives me a very good run for my money and a very good challenge. Now, so far, I've probably made it not look so challenging at all because of the fact that, um, you know, I, uh, I haven't died a single time yet, but that day will come. And by that day, I probably mean this video. Um, I believe the first place we're going to want to go to is up there, to a place called Undeadburg. And if you can't guess what kind of fucking things are in Undeadburg, then you probably need to take math class again. Um, so, on our way to Undeadburg, we will fight a plethora of enemies and conquer and kill and rape and pillage and all kinds of crazy barbaric shit. But needless to say, I will not lose. Except when, for when they throw fire bombs at me. So I'm gonna sprint up there and kick their asses. You son of a bitch! Well, I'm the stupid one now. Well, they're the stupid ones now, cause they jumped off the cliff with me, hit me, and proceeded to fall off the cliff to their death. Very, very smart enemies right here. Um, there's actually a series of exploitations where you can just drive enemies off of cliffs and kill enemies repeatedly. I actually only know of two exploitations, and it's only for the sole purpose of getting souls. I don't know if I'm going to exploit or not, but maybe I will. Um... I'm not actually gonna go to Undeadburg yet. There's one small thing that I need to do, and that is get something semi valuable. Um, there's a plethora of secrets to this game, and this happens to be one of them. Is back here holds the Ring of Sacrifice. Funny thing is, coming back here to get it, I'm not even gonna use it, because from what I recall, it's really not that useful. And if anything, only goes against me. Do, 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 gonna go to Undeadburg. That's a giant rat. Do, no, 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 no. Don't let it hit you or you will be poisoned. Being poisoned really sucks. Being poisoned really does fucking suck, by the way. You'll probably get to see me get poisoned later on in the game, but not now. Not yet. So, we come out here. To end up in Undeadburg. <laughs> they, they really couldn't get more creative with the name. <laughs> like, Undead Town? Undeadville? And it had to be... I mean, well, e those names are really uncreative, too. Actually, if anything, Undeadburg is more creative than Undeadville and Undead Town. But still. Yeah, fucking smash everything! I like how you just roll into things and everything breaks into, like, 5,000 pieces. Like, literally, I roll into shit. Like, look! Look at the mess I've fucking made here! Just from rolling into things. If I roll into things in my room in real life, that's not gonna happen. I'm probably just gonna bump my head and get fucking hurt. My guy, I guess, has a very heavy body, and when he touches things, he just breaks it into a bunch of pieces. Anyway, um, so up here, we are introduced to- Holy shit, it is a dragon! Although, the game calls dragons drakes, which I guess is also a proper name, but still. So... <laughs> Welcome to Undeadburg, guys, where the enemies are just fighting the exact same way they've been fighting. And, and Josh is about to die because uh, archers suck. Now... If you have online connection, which I do, I just disconnected the online mode just to give myself more of a challenge, but, um, if you have online on Xbox Live, then you can actually get hints from people who drop them online, and it really helps out a lot. Like, they really give you, people online on Xbox Live really tell a lot of helpful shit. I'm going to ignore these enemies and come down here, because this is actually a secret area. Um, I, I actually did not see- what the fuck? No! I don't remember you being back here! Get out of my area! Anyway, um, 
this this part of I don't I don't remember this part guys this is scaring me oh now I do I'm gonna turn away from it because it's pretty useless but instead I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna go ahead and here is a merchant well now you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Yeah. Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm in the middle of talking to you. No, you made me hurt the merchant, you bitch. Now the merchant's trying to. Oh my god, that is a long sword. I'm running. Oh my god, that is also a sword that poisons me. I'm running even further. Out of my way, being chased by a very, very violent merchant. Okay, well, that certainly blows, because that merchant is pretty helpful. Fucking undead people. Thank you. Oh, also, humanity can uh, also be used to kindle fires. That's what you use to kindle fires. Um, there's something else, really. Actually, this is my least favorite part about how unforgiving this game is. I want you guys to watch something. Every time you rest at a bonfire, your health may be restored. But just look outside for a second. Look. Nothing seems different, right? Well, kiddos, the truth is... Every enemy I killed respawns! Yeah, that's right. Every time you rest at a bonfire, every single minor enemy you kill, not including bosses, it comes back to life. Isn't that fucking wonderful? I mean, you can get more souls out of it, sure, but what what's that worth if you're going to get killed constantly and lose all your fucking souls? It's not worth anything. In fact, it's downright shitty, but that's okay, because the game's supposed to be that absurdly difficult. Oh, oh, Jesus. I honestly don't know why I haven't chosen to level up yet, because I probably could, but I'm just not. And I think it's for the sole reason of... I, I don't know. Rocket Balboa, Rocket Balboa doesn't need to level up. He has boxing gloves. He beat a he beat Apollo Creed for Christ's sake. Um, I'm just gonna explore this house and check these chests. Ooh, I got a black fire bomb. Don't really use fire bombs much. Um, I might actually want to level up sometime here soon, and you need to be at a bonfire to level up. And yeah, I, I could use it. But I would probably need to cut out until I get to the next point. Um, actually, I think I'm going to go forward and kill a few more enemies first. Because that's what's important. So right here we have these three enemies. One of them is a fire bomber and two of them are just regular undead people. As you can see, I do not like the fire bomber. I am running. Oh. Jesus, I'm happy I killed you. I'm happy I... I'm... I'm happy I'm running from you. That, I don't know what else to say. Besides, I'm unhappy you're alive. And there's fire bombers up there. And I'm gonna take a drink out of my flask. In fact, I'm just gonna sit at this bonfire and see if I can level up. And I will level up my vitality, which is my health. My attunement is... something. I don't know. Let's see what the attunement does. Parameter determining number of attunement slots. Oh, 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 I'll explain that later. Endurance is my stamina. Strength is you know, my strength. It determines what weapons I can hold. Dexterity also helps determine what weapons I can hold. Resistance is, I guess, uh, the like how I am affected by damage. Intelligence, I've never cared about intelligence or faith. Because I'm not a spellcaster, and intelligence, I, I don't I don't know. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and up my vitality, and I'm going to up my endurance, and I'm going to up my strength and dexterity. And I'm going to up my dexterity twice, and my strength by two. Because strength and vitality with my class is pretty much the most important thing. Anyway, I'm going to cut out until I get to the, you know, later on, where I make some progress. Well, that is one death.